damn, our new favorite celebrity hood couple done broke the fuck up. Cardi B goes off on Offset. Use a bitch ass nigga, and yes, I'ma fucking take it there. Trust me. Motherfuckers will try you at your lowest and your most vulnerable time. You out here feeling yourself, but trust me, the tables turn. The nigga violated, son. The nigga put three heart eyes emojis on the Nicki Minaj picture on IG. The nigga violated, B. You know this hurt that girl's heart. Now, mind you, obviously, when you went on Nicki's page, this shit was a race to sign, so... I don't think it was Photoshop. I think he was probably in his feelings, too, and doing too much online. You know what I'm saying? Because that was a violation. Now, who is she talking about right here? Nicki Minaj, take your man to the park. No, her man got them rape charge type shit. I don't know, violation. I don't, can't be around feet, uh, kids. I don't know. But, yo, she wanted to rant, man. She went on IG, man, letting her feelings out. I hate when couples do this shit, but let's hear this. Yo, I really don't like doing the inner I really, really don't like doing the inner But the sad is, I'm calling me. You need to stop calling me. Cause you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face in your fucking face over and over and over and over and over again and she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to yo really like to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When, I, when I'm not the most confident, they like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows yesterday I could have been out, I could have been chilling, I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself, you nigga, because of your album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so fucking years that I'm up your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't say me seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm so fucking tired of this. Yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy Mark Black. Yeah, I know what's going down. Gotta talk about this situation. It's a lot of shit trending today, man. Um. Cardi B and Offset, that's what we're about to talk about right now. And they breaking up. Um, Kanye going on a rant. And you know I'm saying he was trying to drop his project. I think it's called Vultures or something. I think he had like some kind of album release, some kind of event. You know what I'm saying they got sabotaged. And then um, 6 ix 9 even though I don't give a fuck about that shit, but 6 ix 9 and his shorty, they're making a big deal of that. Some other shit going on. Damn, Tory Lanez, they saying he might have a new, he might be getting his appeal. They looking at the paperwork. Um, damn, it's a lot of shit going on. But screw all that shit. Let's talk about this Cardi B and Offset. Now, the only real thing I got to say about this is like, see, when it comes to kids being involved, you got to be a little sensitive with these situations and these subjects, right? That's one thing. <clears throat> Number two, this is actual families. Like, they got history. They got kids. They, I'm saying? So it always sucks when it gets crazy in the public eye. I'm saying? And we got to look at it like, damn, they really going out like this. But not to say, like, that's the thing, too. You can't put them on pedestals because these are actual human beings just like us. The only thing is they're famous. You know what I'm saying? But they still got feelings just like us. They still go through shit. That's why, like, a couple weeks ago, it was seeming all good. You know what I'm saying? Because they was showing their love for each other and all that shit. Offset just dropped the album. He been having interviews, talking about his wife, talking about their sex and all that kind of shit. And then, like, weeks later, this comes out. She's saying he ain't been listening to her for a minute. He tired, She tired of his bullshit, da-da-da. Then the craziest thing is, because this is how relationships are um, today, I think he liked one of Nicki Minaj's pictures. So it's like she's ran now talking about she helped this nigga out for years and he never wanna listen to her and this and that and the third. She she's going on a rant on live. Like, you know what I'm saying? It sucks when it gets that far because it's like, damn, man, like your enemies is looking at that like ha ha ha, you fucking fumbling. But same time, girls are looking too like they feel bad because but I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship, so I'm not gonna blame everything on offset. 
But I will say too, like it seems like ever since that situation with Blueface and Krishan came out, and um, basically he was uh. No, Blueface was saying that Offset smashed Krishan at Cardi B in the crib. Maybe she found out that shit was true, and that was just the straw that broke the camel's back. I don't know, but what I'm trying to say is, man, it sucks when it gets put out there in the public, and it's hard to, like, get back good, but people do get back good sometimes. Like, sometimes people will rant, do all this extra shit online, and then the next week they write back together, and then they looking at us like we bugging. But my whole point is, like, it ain't even to say they bugging. It's to say, um, the internet is a motherfucker. This shit really the devil. And I should have you doing crazy things. That's one thing. But also, um, you never know what people really going through behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? And don't believe everything you see in the public eye. Because this shows you that sometimes you might think it's all good. But it ain't all good. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, man, um, prayers for their whole situation, you know what I'm saying, because life is too short, and, you know, they got family, they got kids to raise, so I can't even be feeling like, ha, 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 you know what I'm saying, because it's nothing to laugh at, it's more like, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, if y'all gotta go your own separate ways, y'all gotta go your own separate ways, whatever happens, hopefully it's for the better, you feel me? So, that's my take on it, man. If y'all feeling what I'm saying, man, share this. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned to the next time. It's your boy, Mark Black.